Or is it more of a scripture? I think, I think, but, now, you can't really explain morality without God, can you? Yeah, you can. So she would say you can. I think you can. I think Is you it can. like subjective morality that you um, are subscribing to? I think everything is relative. Um, if nobody, yeah. if God didn't create anything, yeah. then humans created morality, didn't they? Yes. Yes, yeah, that's what I think. So it comes from us. What would so, you say morality comes from? Just from humans, we have this sense of like altruism that we've evolved. Yeah. From, yeah. yeah. But, but wouldn't that mean that morality would always be subjective? So what is right for you might be wrong for him, exactly. or vice versa. This is the problem. So eventually you have to get to the subjective morality that. That doesn't separate. show that it's wrong. It just shows that it might be upsetting. No, no. If, if it's God. if it's contradictory, then we know that both cannot be right. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, so it is. Morality. So you you don't believe there is objective morality? No. You don't think so? I think what it is, I think it's like we all have different interests. Okay, so I'm a woman, you're a man. We have different interests. Uh, we we like different religions, so we have different interests. So eventually, we just have to come to this agreement yeah. that we respect each other. Yeah, but that's a selfish subjective, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> so no, but it is. We, yeah. Just to, I'm trying to understand, like, how would you get around this subjectivity, you know, where we, there will always be conflict of interest, yes. there would yeah. be bias, there yeah. would be some other, maybe because of the, the culture or the tradition you live in, your morals would differ from someone. Say, for example, somebody living in India, yes, yeah. they, in order for them to enter the home, they will have to remove their shoes or something, yeah? But if, if somebody from another culture enters their home with shoes, because that is how they are being indoctrinated, even without realizing they are offending someone, you see what I mean? Even though they didn't intend to, it's because they, have, they live it. So that's what I'm trying to get around that. The reason we believe that, uh, that morality can be objective only if it comes from God. Only if, if it comes from someone who is a higher being. Because then there wouldn't be this bias, there wouldn't be conflict of interest, there anything. wouldn't be any of that. Say again? It doesn't prove anything. Just because you think it would be right or nice, if that were the case, it doesn't prove that that's the case, does it? No, no, I'm saying, because to get around this problem of morality being subjective, and then, like, you're right or you're wrong on the same morality, then we'll always have that problem with humans, isn't it? No, no, but why can't you just, like, have, like, this peer, like, this peer thing, where you say, okay, that person doesn't take their shoes off, I take my shoes off. It's just an example I gave. So, no, 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 but yeah, what yeah. I said is, why can't you just understand, oh, you know, you, and you think it's funny, you just understand it. No, you know why? Look, if it's if it's just something that you keep inside within you, then that's different. But because we live in a real world, we have to, you know, live with other people, with other cultures, with other traditions. You cannot keep suppressing that all the time. For example, a hundred years from today, the LGBTQ uh, community wouldn't exist, at least not openly. See what I mean? But today, it's become the reason is because the law has been implemented to allow them to not be discriminated openly like it used to happen 100 years ago. The same government used to lock them up, used to even hang them. Yeah, so yeah like depending on... Morality. Yeah, so it's, it's always yeah. changing. This. But the thing is that you yeah. have to put on this basis that you can do whatever you like as long as it doesn't harm someone else. If you don't harm someone else, how? Like for example, so today like, like in this community... harms nobody. Yeah, but, but when you say harm, for example, offending someone is also harm. Yeah, it is because if you if you feel offended when somebody tells you something about your your ideology or your belief, that's the thing. You see, that's the thing. For some people, offending someone is wrong. But why? challenging Okay, I'll tell you what. If sorry, is she your mom? She's your mom. Okay. If someone offends your mom, would you not get hurt? Do I have the right to offend you? Yeah. At the expense no, of this, no, I think as long legally, as I don't hurt someone physically, I it's okay. Society, you see, it doesn't work. You should be to offend people. No, it shouldn't be. I don't think so. People, society, people should, should know where the boundaries are. When you're interacting with someone, you should generally be a polite person. You should be nice to people, but you should be allowed. How can you be nice when you offend someone? Okay, so offend someone. It's someone contradictory. Your or vice versa. No, no, it's contradictory. You can't be nice to someone if you're offending them. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't want him to be anyone. Else. Okay, so at the moment, you probably have ideas about me, maybe. 
like you have ideas about women, okay, maybe you do, but you're polite, so you wouldn't say it to him. And that's what I mean, it's like there's this politeness in society that you have certain opinions, yeah. but you keep them to yourself. Yeah, that I would so, agree with, but yeah, your so son said you should have the right to offend. Yeah, but that is what I was objecting to. No, 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 but that's because he's been a uh, like, concession to the other side. No, no, he's, he's actually right, because yeah, in this yeah. community, you have the right to offend. Exactly. So you won't be arrested if you offend someone. Yeah, yeah. Okay. However, there are certain people you can't offend, like the LGBT community. If you offend them, you can get arrested. Or you shouldn't be allowed to be arrested. Well, this is yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's it depends on the government. They make yeah. selective rules, okay, based on which community you're but you're in. We don't agree with that. Yeah. Just coming back to the, because uh, yeah. you guys don't believe in God. No. What 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 evidence will convince you? Or, uh, like maybe if God spoke to me or gave me some sign. Sorry. Rehan, can you just move the camera this way? You guys were mainly saying, why should morality be dictated by a God, not man? Is that what or your human. general... Yeah. 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 That's, why, why can't humans decide for it? But what, what, what we see, yeah. um, you know, you can add to it, what we see today then is everyone's become their own God. Yeah, that's okay? true. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's well, become yeah, their own God and sad, therefore right? every individual sad. God yeah, had decided that I will do yeah. A, B, C, D, E. Whether yeah. it upsets somebody or not, I'm my own God yeah. and I will do this. And if yeah. it offends yeah. somebody, it's their problem. It's not my no, problem. And, and therefore that, that, subjective, that yeah. subjectiveness means that we are causing a lot of harm. Whereas, and we've got to bear in mind that our intellect and our health is limited. So our understanding of what is good for us, never mind him or you or you or the tree or the dogs or the cats, yeah is limited. We think we're gods, we think we know where we think, we think we're very smart. We hide behind the shield of yeah. science and say science says a lot of things and therefore we do this. But we're not, we're just man. It only takes one stroke for you to lose your faculties. And suddenly yeah, you're not yeah. able to you're not able to decide what's right or wrong for you. And I agree with you. And therefore we say we hand over that ability, that so power, yeah, yeah. that power of dictating what's moral for me and everybody who knows more than me, who's more stronger than me, who's more powerful than me, who, who's who never going to die, who knows how he created it and everything like that to a being that, that is able to do it in such a way that never going to harm anybody and everyone's going to be unjust. It's like yeah. this in a way. You drive, in, what car do you drive? Uh, uh, Brand. I, <laughs> a Toyota. A Toyota, fine. I drive the Seat, okay? Now, I, I wouldn't listen to... Go ahead, yeah. Yeah, okay, so what you're saying, what you're talking about, is that we hand yeah. over our morality to a greater being. Yeah. What you're actually talking about and what you're saying is community. Because you're talking about this individualism that we have here, which is shits. Okay, it's like we all have our own gods, individual gods, consumerism, I've got to buy that brand, that brand, yeah. and it does your head in. Mm. So what you're saying is you want to have like something bigger, you want to have something deeper than that. And what that thing that you're talking about is community, because you guys, you have a beautiful community. No, no, what do you mean by your that. own god? It's, it's like you're yeah. making yourself more than as that. a god, because, yeah. because like I deciding don't, what is right and wrong. Hmm? You created that god because you want that higher being, you want a higher purpose. That's, that that's, where you're, that's where you may be misinformed, yeah, because we haven't created things. that God. No, 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 we can't, we can't. I think we believe in him because it, you want to, because... It, it depends on where you gain yeah, where is your evidence for this? Good for society. Pardon? It's gorgeous, that's the reason to say it. Okay, if I, if I were to ask you, where, where did the universe come from? But you didn't say that it's true. If I were to ask you, where did the universe yeah. come question. from? Because you said but we created because, our own that's God. Because that wasn't the so question. this, we the know that the was universe exists. Comes from. Yeah, yeah. And question, if I were to ask you, where did it come from? Yeah. What would you say? I would yeah. say that, 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 I was not asking that question. Whether it's good or not, it's not clear. But I'm not sure. Big Bang doesn't tell us where it came from. It tells us the effect, but not the cause. I'm asking about the cause. Yeah. So, because you you said we made our own God, is it possible it that yeah. there is a higher being who who brought all this into existence? But where is the evidence for that? There's no way, for example. Okay. So when you say when you say evidence, we know that the universe exists. What do you do? We know that the universe couldn't have come from nothing. Okay. What cuisine do you cook? But we know that things do come from other chemicals. If you were to start exactly, which is not nothing. Okay. So because before the universe, as far as science is concerned, there was nothing. Although you're saying, you see what I mean? So. It, it cannot come cuisine. from nothing at all. Right, because if I... Is it going to work in your restaurant? I, I haven't reached that conclusion uh, in this discussion yet. So let's not jump the gun. Let's take it one step at a time.
a time. So if it cannot come from nothing, then the next question I would ask you is that, has it created itself? So where is it? I'm going to bring back to I don't know. I don't know. That's impossible. This world as a whole. It's like, it's like somebody saying that, uh, you know, a mother gave birth to herself. Your kitchen knows Italian. Which is illogical, isn't it? Yeah. So it has to be, if it's not nothing, if it is not itself, then there must be something outside the universe. But, which a caused it, okay. yeah. of a you can call it say, intelligent design or you can call it supernatural being, using the wrong yes, rules. I call it God, I call now it that's Allah, where, where yeah, that's a term okay. to and understand that true or not, that's something caused all of now, this existence that we have today. Yeah. And that's the only plausible explanation, or not. because anything what? anything other than that, I think because you will say, I don't know, which is which is not bad, but it's not really an answer because it's more like saying, I don't have an answer, you see what I mean? No, I yeah. see what you mean. So you call it Allah, okay? Yeah. However, your Allah believes, comes so to Allah. Yeah. Yeah. So, if, yeah, yeah. so if God can create the universe, yeah. then he can communicate to us. Right. And this is this is the message from him called the Quran. Yeah, that's that's a very good question. No, no, that's... No problem. I have read the Bible and I've read the Quran. So the only way you can come to a conclusion is if you read them yeah. and you contrast them and you understand and analyze them because you see we have been given this faculty of reasoning unlike the animals unlike any other any other beings here on the, on, you have been given this faculty of reasoning which can which can then lead you to the conclusion and decision yeah i have yeah i have read about zeus yeah okay so zeus how many people actually worship Zeus today? No, that's what I'm saying. You know why they don't? Thousands of gods. Why do you believe in that? I told you, you know, the Hindus still believe in thousands of gods. Yeah? And I've read their scriptures as well. Exactly. I've read some of these uh, scriptures which you. were you born into, if I might ask? I was born a Muslim. your evidence that deceived you, So do you, a Hindu or a Christian? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Both both ways, you're right. <laughs> But you were indoctrinated to other belief systems. But, but the, you see, the difference between you and me is that I actually read those scriptures to come to a conclusion. And I'm, all I'm saying is, you do the same. So if you haven't read the Quran, now is the opportunity. It's a free gift for you. Yeah. Exactly. That's all. Of, that, we are not imposing it on you. Of course not. Come on. That wouldn't be. Islam wouldn't want that, actually. In Islam, we are taught not to impose anything. Yeah. Like for half a team, you believe. Yeah, yeah. You see, look, the reason we come to Speaker's Corner uh, and to propagate Islam and we go to other places as well and propagate Islam is because, you see, look, we believe that there is this life is temporary and it's going to end one day. You know, regardless of whether you believe in God or not, yeah, we all believe in that, right? It's the only certainty which everyone, regardless of their belief or disbelief, will agree with. And all I'm saying is that if there was a life after that, then the we should be ready for that. So when God says jump, they jump. Yeah, when the God says sleep, they sleep. Alive. When the God says pray, they It's not in your, it's not your decision. No. You see, for you to come to this world wasn't your decision. All I believe in is that you're a nice person. You're a nice person. Yeah. I am a Christian. I left it. We're nice. You know, and that's what I if I go, if, if I go and give an exam, me being nice doesn't help me to pass, does it? No, it doesn't. You, I don't know which exams you have been to where a nice person always passes the exams. Nice person always as well. Like no, no, the reason I brought the analogy of exam is because as Muslims we believe that this life is a test. Because the consequences of that, this life, will be seen in the next life. Because we firmly believe that there is indeed a life after death. It's not, death is not the end. It's like, no. do you believe there's Angel a life after freedom. death for animals, for chipmunks? That's different. Do you believe there they're, is? They're not, they're no, we, we believe that they will be resurrected as well and they'll be given their due. However, they will be they will be dust at one point. But we, we because we have the faculty of reasoning unlike the animals, we can't compare ourselves to them. Some animals have reasoning. 
Yeah. Anyway, you, you, what I'm saying is, what I believe in no, is like this. I believe the, like, like you and I, I just believe in humanity. Like, God's people are good, God basically. Yeah, but, you know, I like I said, oh, we are, we are, we are asking you whether we have a greater purpose. Like, for instance, everything you have, madam, with all respect, has a purpose. But who's greater, you or the coat? Of course, we would say you. You or your gloves. So we're saying to you, there's human beings, all of us. Do we have a greater purpose? I would say that the community, your mum, because like, oh, my mum was like my mum and my dad, right? So that's the purpose. Yeah, but you see, look, when you say good and bad, it always comes down to who decides that, you know? Because yeah, yeah, ultimately it is us. For example, if I were to ask you, is alcohol good for you or bad for you? So Ooh, it's good for you in the moment. Yeah, not, it was good for you too. How is it good for you? In what in what way is it good for you? Feel good, but then afterwards. Yeah, but that's emotional. I'm talking about physical. Physically, does it harm you? It's bad for you eventually. Exactly. So physically, it's bad for you. It's bad for your liver. It's bad for it's bad for your heart. It's bad for many things. Even your faculty of um, of judgment is, is is something which is uh, you know. Cloud it when you are drunk. See yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah. That's why they say don't drink and drive yeah. because you don't have the ability to think right. So you see, it might give you some entertainment value at the expense of your health, though. Second. What's that got to do with Islam? No, no, it's not to do I'm, because we're talking about good and bad. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying that, like you said, it's, it's it's good for me at the in the moment, but you're you're missing the bigger picture where it does impact you. Because you know there have been scientific studies and they have come to the conclusion that even small amounts of alcohol is bad for you. <laughs> so that makes you say No, no, it's not not really because you have been because you live in a culture where this is a norm. Yeah, to go to the pub and get a drink with your friends is is your way of entertainment here. And this I cannot take away from you because it's your culture. I agree with you. But what I'm saying is that I'm saying as human beings, yeah, yeah. because we have given, been given the faculty of reasoning, yeah, yeah. we need to understand the difference between what is good for us, both yeah, physically, agree. mentally and spiritually, oh, no, sorry, all three, and what is not. And that's what, what Islam is teaching. You know, what? the reason Islam has, has actually abolished alcohol or prohibited alcohol is because it... This is what I mean. Religion is like, it's codified. It's like, it's codified rules. Absolutely. Absolutely. That doesn't mean a code of conduct. Is it doesn't mean that there is a great a supernatural being. It just means that we've worked these things out as good yeah. or bad. So I'll tell you what, I'll give you a few pro prohibitions in Islam which you might already know. Yeah, I'll give you a few prohibitions. You tell me agree or disagree. So in Islam we already talked about alcohol being prohibited. The other things which are prohibited is, is gambling, is uh, fornication, adultery, uh, killing someone, you know, unjustly. All these things uh, including usury, you know, taking interest. So all these things are bad, and you will understand that they're bad when you when you analyze each one of them. Take take interest-based society, where the poor become poor, poorer, and the rich become richer. The gap just keeps increasing. Yes, but Islam has prohibited taking interest. So I agree with all of that. Yeah. Okay. But that doesn't mean that I believe in a supernatural God. But I agree with all of that. Okay. So it's like these are the uh, conclusions that we come to as human beings that care about each other. That it's not good for someone to be too rich to score. It's not good to drink alcohol because it messes you up eventually. And all of the stuff. Yeah. Um, so all these prohibitions are for our own good? All of that. Yeah. It's bad yeah. for you. But I believe that we can come to those conclusions without God. Look, I, I'll tell you why not. I'll tell you why not. So you can come to that conclusion, but for you to act upon it would be difficult. For example, you know alcohol is bad, but you... Yeah, okay, take care. Yeah. So you see, alcohol, even though you realize it's bad for you because you still consume it, so why do you still consume it? Because you know that there is no consequence that you'll have to suffer for it. No, no, you don't when you're drinking. No, I do when I'm drinking. You do? It's like it's this thing in your brain. Yeah. So maybe it's in the back of your head. I, I totally understand. You see when the the reason we have speed cameras? And it's it's the advertising. Yeah, that's the worst thing. I totally agree. Yeah, but that's what I mean. Come Christmas, don't drink and drive. The rest of the world the rest of the year. It's like it's, it's okay. this idea that yeah. oh, okay, like drinking is good. So in all that way, yeah, I would agree with you, like the Islamic principles, but I just don't believe in a supernatural. Yeah. So you know the example of advertising is very good. You mentioned that. 
Because you see, the government realizes this danger because they are the ones who conducted the studies and they printed it in journals which are peer reviewed when they decided that not even small amount of uh, alcohol is bad for you. Yeah, yeah. So these same governments who actually conduct or <laughs> I told you, yeah. it's, 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 I'm saying that the same government is quite funny and ironic actually that the same government who actually you know paid for this service who who, prom uh, who actually gave the scientists the the money and the revenue to go about conduct the the service they are the ones who then you know uh, broadcast these advertisements about alcohol about Guinness about uh, you know the different brands yeah because they get a lot of revenue from it now they know for a fact that is bad for the bad for the citizens but yet, because for them the priority is to but this is to line the, the pockets. Thing about you and I is yeah. Like, and it's like it's not about God. It's about community versus individual. It's about responsibility. It, yeah. yeah. It's and the responsibility the, uh, will the never come. They're like they're trying to say, oh, have a good time, you yeah. know, enjoy yourself, get drunk, exactly. because they want to make money. Yeah. Okay. So I can say no to that. And if I believed in God, maybe it would be easier for me to say no to that. But I can still logically say no to that without believing in God. Why do you? Is easier if you believed in God. That's a very good point, actually. Because if you have God, you have this blueprint for life. Thank you. You're like, I'm not going to do it. But that doesn't mean it's true. Even though it's wonderful. How do you know it's not true? You see, you, you made you, yeah, you made a, you made a conclusion without evidence. No, I didn't make a conclusion. I didn't say it wasn't true. I said that it doesn't mean it's true. Yeah, but what made you come to that decision is not true. Like I, you know, like I explained to you that we cannot explain this existence. Yeah, without a supernatural being. No, okay, so this is my yeah. So you believe in, you and I, we agree on that, right? So you and I, we agree on that stuff, that alcohol is bad for you, and other types of blah, blah, blah. So you're Muslim, I'm atheist. Yeah. 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 yeah, we agree on it. So I think you're an agnostic. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't call you an atheist based on what you said. <laughs> because you're, an agnostic yeah, yeah, you're keeps right. the option yeah, yeah. open. No, 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 an atheist yeah. closes the door on God. I'm just keeping my options open, just in case, just in case. Yeah, yeah. But what I'm saying is, you and I were so different, right? Right, so you believe in religion, I don't. Okay, so but we still have the same morals, we still have the same opinions. So what I'm saying is, that proves that morality doesn't come from God, because it comes from us. Because what we have in common is humans. Yeah. You see, when you said it cannot come, that means you have made a firm conclusion. No, 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 no. If you said it, it, it could not come, then I would say, yeah, yeah. you see, there's a difference in the wording. I can tell from the wording it's, it's different. Yeah. Now that you have qualified it, <laughs> I'll give you the benefit of doubt, no problem. Okay, so what if it was true? If it was true, I would embrace it. I, would, I mean, the whole no, no, no. masculinity of it, I yeah. might have a few problems, but I would come to terms with it, so that would yeah. be cool. I would embrace it if I believe How would you embrace it? Because you see, look, it might be too late by the time you say, I want to embrace it. Like I said, I'll tell you why. Because yeah, yeah. if you die upon this yeah, yeah, belief yeah. that yeah, yeah. there is no God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. then you have already, in a way, condemned yeah. yourself. Condemned myself to what? To an eternal damnation. Ah, no, but this is what I mean. So if I'm a good person and you're a good person, mm -hmm. and I die before you, and God says to me, you didn't believe in me, so you go to hell, or eternal, eternal damnation, yeah. that's not a very nice thing to do. So why would I believe in why would I want it's, to... It's like, because you know, not believing in God is the biggest sin. Uh, but see, I don't where, believe that not believing in God so is a sin. Okay, I believe in our me. Our shall, I, shall I tell you why it is a biggest sin? Yeah. Because you see, like the brother earlier explained to you, that when you start disbelieving in God, and then you take it upon yourself to decide what is good and bad, yeah. then it is as if you are making yourself a God. So I'm not handing it, I'm not surrendering so you, my will to somebody. Exactly, yeah. You're, you have now decided that because it is up to me to decide what is right and wrong, even though your, your life experience is limited to your environment, to your friends, to your colleagues, to your acquaintances, you have made your decision that I can actually make that confirmed decision that what I do is right. And that is where maybe the problem arises from because once you have that mindset, then I don't think you will ever be willing to surrender your will to God. Yeah, and that's, that's the reason I wanted to explain to you about the existence that we have, the universe, you, me, all of this inside the universe 
it has to come, come from someone, isn't it? Yeah. So, from so, somewhere. You know, I feel like we've been vibing. Many people, yeah. Yeah. Do you think I should live in eternal damnation? You, no, I don't think you should. But but if you decide, you know, there's actually a, a hadith about the Prophet Sallallahu Prophet peace be upon him, he's our messenger, the last messenger. He said that the only people who will not, uh, sorry, uh, who will not go to paradise yeah. is those people who refuse to go. Yes, and the pe and the and his oh, companions. No, I, I wouldn't refuse to go. Right? No, no, no. Hear me out. The companions ask the same question. Say, who would refuse to go to paradise? Yeah. yeah. Or who would want to go to hellfire? And he says those people who willingly do not surrender their will to God. And this is the reason because if you if you have got the information about God and yet you. My son's leaving. No, he's here. He's here. Where's he going? So he's embarrassed of me. He's, he's okay. So he's, he's, he's old enough to handle himself, I'm sure. He won't go without you. Okay? He's just taking a break. Maybe. Well, what I'm saying is that if, yeah. if you decide on your own volition yeah. to decide to reject the existence of God, and like I said, I gave you a Quran. Oh, babe, now, I have to go. Yeah, sure. sure. No problem. No problem. Oh, but it's really nice speaking to you. What's your name? Joe. Yeah. Joe. Joe, very nice speaking to you. Maybe you can come again and we can discuss some more. Okay. Take care. All right. Uh, may Allah give uh, hidayah to this uh, uh, lady, Joe, and her son. Uh, please make dua for them. They seem like uh, genuine people, mashallah. Jazakallah uh, khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.